So because Trudvang Legends is based off of an RPG, Trudvang, that was done by Riot Minds, we wanted to make sure to incorporate the character classes into the board game in a way that made them feel really different, punchy, and flavorful. So for example, the rogue is a uh, really lightning fast character that gets to resolve their actions before anybody else, even their friends, which makes timing complicated for the monsters and a little bit easier for their friends. The Dimwalker is a healer class that's also kind of uh, bad in combat, right? And they get to, uh, they, they are good at holy attacks, they get, they're really good against undead, and they have a wide array of weapons that can both protect and defend at the same time. With that kind of feel, you, uh, people really get to feel like they're in a role. So depending on which class you take and the, uh, and the upgrades and the powers that are available to that class, it'll really inform how you make decisions uh, tactically in the game. So as you complete any story, uh, you're going to get experience points, either from uh, killing monsters, winning battles, or completing story points. Uh, you'll use that experience points to uh, purchase cards from your legendary path. Those are new upgrades, new weapons, new armors, new uh, or, or new titles. They're available only to your class and aligned to one of the elements, earth, wind, fire, water. Depending on which of those cards you pick, that's actually going to set you down a path towards one of your character's legendary endings. Each character has multiples of them. So for example, if you were Ladena the Dimwalker, you could pick a number of, say, fire upgrades, fire-based upgrades, and you could become uh, very, very fire-based, that would lead you down the path to become uh, Ladana the Fire Priest. And that, as that legend, you would take that card, once you qualify for it, and you can put it into the storyboard. That character then retires, becomes a legend, and now permanently affects the rest of the story. And that gives a bonus to all future generations. So for example, if you want to play another character, that you could be Ladana, daughter of Ladana, uh, you would get a bonus even starting out uh, based on uh, the bonus that she gives. So for example, say more fire runes or better successes with fire. So one of the cool things about this game is that based on the path that you, cho that you choose, even though you become a legend before the story is over, you end up becoming more and more and more powerful even at the beginning of your career. And you get that cool cyclical feeling of uh, like legends going out doing great actions in history, their kids doing great actions in history. And that goes on till the end of the story.